yeah. the next man up. And our coaches do such a great job of, you know, not flinching at all. If someone goes down, obviously you never want to see that happen, but um, they do such a great job of getting the next man up ready, you know, having the confidence in him, which will build confidence in himself. And, you know, that's what's happened all year long. What has the season meant to you after you and Marcus decided to come back and to get back here? What has it meant to you? Uh, what meant to me the most was getting my degree. Um, after I got my degree, you know, focusing on the season and um, doing whatever it takes to get these guys, to, you know, help these guys win. And, you know, these, everybody on this team has done such an unbelievable job of, you know, buying in and then trusting the process of Coach Helfridge and the coaching staff of, you know, their process that they have for us. And, you know, it's all been working and falling into place. What's the mood like today when Farrell gets to practice? Oh, I I was in the treatment room getting taped. I was laying down. I just hear his voice. I just popped up. And I just when I heard his voice, I was just so happy just to see him. And he brought, you know, so much energy to the whole team. And, you know, just having his presence there is unbelievable. Can you contrast the mood from an occasion like that today from the early days after the injury and kind of – I couldn't imagine that was an easy thing to go through as a team. Yeah, but what, what made it easier for us is – how strong he was, you know, how strong he was after the whole injury, how, how um, positive he was with us. And you know, we're all in touch with him every single day. And he was just, he was stronger than we were, uh, more positive than we were. And you know, he was in a really good place, which made it easier for us. Do you know he'd be able to make the trip? Yeah, I knew that. Okay. But I didn't know like he was going to be at practice today. I just knew, I knew he landed last night. I thought it'd be a lot for him to, to make it out to the home, uh, I mean, StubHub Center and you know, be out there. So it was great to see him. He on crutches at this point? I mean, what's he like? Um, I think he, he, he was just sitting down. I didn't get to see him, but he was sitting down. Uh, but he looks good. What about you right now? Any declarations about your status? I'm getting better every single day. <laughs> um, you know, I am. I'm doing, I'm doing more and more every single day. Um, I feel good right now. And you just got to trust, you know, with the process and trust what the trainers and doctors have to say. Are there some? I'd say if you had your scooter here, you'd probably get them. Oh, this would be awesome. Yeah, be That's why I love to have my scooter. <laughs> Are there some things left that you still need to see yourself do before you feel like, okay, I'm ready to play? Or do you feel like it's just kind of uh, just a day? I don't know. If day to day. <laughs> no, I'm getting better every day. I am. It's, there, there isn't a checkpoint that I need to get to or anything. It's just, you know, when it comes to game time, see how I feel and, you know, um, I'm gonna do whatever it takes to to be able to play in that game. I can tell you that, and yeah. you know, even if I'm if I'm in a lot of pain during the game, you know, that pain will be all worth it after the game. You guys have been in the spotlight nationally for years. I mean, you, when you recruited, this was still a big program. But do you think there's a a perception about your style of team, this kind of offense-based team, that is still out there that might be a misconception nationally that? If you win this game, maybe you could reset a little bit. Yeah, I mean, we just we don't like to listen to what other people like to say about our offense because you know the only people that don't matter is the people in our team meeting room. You know, not you know it's anything against you guys, but <laughs> we just focus on what we have to do and you know not let the outsiders you know get in and and try to distract us. And you know, our, our we trust our process, and you know, so far this entire season has been working. And for my entire career, it's been working pretty well. And you know, I don't think you could call you know our team soft anymore. You know, we beat some pretty pretty physical opponents this this, this season and you know, I'm really proud of these guys. I want to ask you real quick about Troy Hill because okay. he's you know kind of of your age yeah. you've been guys I'm sure you're not maybe you mingle all that often. Played him in high school we're, yeah we're close. What he seems like this year he's gone from maybe tentative to not only producing on the field but doing it so with an attitude what, what do you see from him he just got change. he just got more confidence in himself. Uh, the coaches, you know, put a lot of confidence into him, when you know that just builds more confidence for yourself. And he's just attacking things, and you know he's gotten so much better since last season of you know being an even more vocal leader with the DBs and the defense, and you know seeing him step up. You know, especially now that Efo is out, he's got to step up and you know be be the vocal guy back there with Eric Dargan, and you know I, I trust those guys a lot. What kind of leadership style? We talk about Marcus a lot, but. What, it doesn't really matter what we think about him and his leadership style, but what does he mean for you guys inside the locker room when you're on the, on the sideline huddling? How does he lead best? By whatever, you know, whenever he opens his mouth, he's, he's got something good to say because Marcus is the type of guy that won't just open his mouth just to talk, just to hear himself talk. You know, he'll, he, when he has to say something, that means it, it really means something, and you better stop what you're doing and listen to whatever he's got to say. Um, you know, because when, whenever he talks, he's usually right, and you got to learn from him. I appreciate it very much. Yeah, thank thanks you. so much. Thank you. Appreciate Ronis, it. you've been here before. You've been here at Disneyland before yeah. the Rose Bowl. You guys are all about winning the day. So what's the key to winning this day at Disneyland? Um, eating as much funnel cake as we can. <laughs> uh, we're just enjoying ourselves with the team, enjoying, you know, the entire day, um, enjoying all this, you know, you know, hanging out with you guys, hanging out with the media, hanging out with, you know, the fans here. 
And you know, special thanks to Disneyland for, for having us here. And you know, everything a part of this whole entire bowl game is a lot of fun. But you know, there's only one thing that we came here to do, and that's win a football game. Hanging out with us is probably better than like Space Mountain, right? I mean, if you're, if you're ranking things. To do. Yeah. What, what ride are you most excited to go on? Um, I don't know. I mean, if I could get in on a ride, um, if I could fit on one, I haven't been on one in a while. Barely fit on these chairs right now, but you know, we'll see. I'm gonna show you a picture from the last time you guys were here. That's oh, Lamichael that. James. <laughs> Who on this year's team is gonna be like that today? Ooh, I love to see Royce do that again. <laughs> you know, have, keep it in the running back group. Um, I I think that'll be Royce. Not you. You you're composed on those rides? A little bit. <laughs> I'm a big guy, but you know, my head. You know, I'm a little scared of rides, but not, not, not that much. No, I'm not. I'm just kidding. Okay. Do, you have a certain, do you have a strategy that you like to use at Disneyland? Is there a ride strategy, how you move through the park? I've only been here, I think, two or three times. And one of, was, this is my, I mean, I probably came as a little kid, and the second time was for the Rolls Bowl uh, three years ago, and this is, you know, like, my third time. And um, my last time here for the Rolls Bowl, I, didn't get, I, I think I didn't get to go on a single ride because it was so busy, and I just wanted to go and, you know, rest my legs and just go into ESPN zone and you know, eat and play some video games. You got any character, Disney characters you want to take a picture with while you're here today? Oh, uh, I want to take a picture with Mickey. I don't know where you went. I probably, he told me he'll take one of me. <laughs> he really didn't say it, but I asked him to. <laughs> he pantomimed it probably, yeah. right? Thanks. Last time you guys were here.